Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. Today I wanted to share with you this really handy site and bundled package, Tidy Finance. So as we see here, they have uh, labelled it Opinionated Approach to Empirical Research in Financial Economics. And this is really nice, this is more than just an R package, and in fact we can see they have both R and Python here. It's actually probably more of a textbook than anything else, with a whole lot of R code, plus the theory and the maths behind some of these financial methods, and some examples and even some exercises as well. So if you are interested in finance and want to up your game on the quantitative side, I think this is an amazing resource. If you're teaching finance, again, this is really excellent. Uh, back in the day, I taught a reasonable amount of finance, and I would have loved something like this. This is really excellent. It has a mix of dedicated functions, and then also some where it's just using the built-in functions, but demonstrating how to do particular things in finance with them. So if we take a look at the R1, and we can see it's a book more than just a website but it is really really thorough uh, they even get into who should read it what will you learn what won't you learn so very very comprehensive and so they've said financial economics I think that is probably the best description but certainly it is that calculation based side of finance really handy stuff in here we can see there on the left hand side uh, the different things, so if you have covered any finance before, things like beta estimation are things you would do in an undergraduate, coming down to things like Pharma French, Pharma Macbeth, depending on where you've studied, starting to creep into that slightly more advanced territory. Portfolio optimization, some really neat stuff in here. Uh, option pricing via machine learning. There's the Black Shoals in there as well, so the more traditional approach to option pricing as well as some interesting stuff with things like neural networks. So let's have a look. Here's beta estimation, and we can see it really does step you through. The R and the Python, pretty much the same layout, just with the different respective code. So you can take a pick if you are already well into learning one or the other then I would just go with that. I didn't really see much in here where I think there is a big advantage to one language over the other. Out in industry, certainly I think there is more of a move towards Python just as the data has gotten bigger, but certainly I think there is still some places where R is part of it. Um, some of them also use C plus and other more conventional programming languages. But I think in terms of having something where you can just jump and do the activities, I think this is really good. So we come down, we can see that they give us code. They've even stepped us through being able to get the uh, financial data that we're going to need in order to be able to do these analyses. So here is our good old CAPM, Capital Asset Pricing Model. Uh, if you're not familiar with finance, I mean, you probably may have, won't have made it three and a half minutes into this video, but... That's certainly your, uh, your 101 if you do want to go and learn just a teeny tiny bit of finance. If you're already in finance, then this will hopefully look very familiar to you. So trying to get that regression line between your asset and your market. And so we scroll down and so that's just a basic linear model. Uh, they're not doing anything especially fancy here. But then they do roll through. So we've got rolling window estimation. Keep going down tracking it and graphing it we can see some examples with some big companies there examples with sectors as well and then at the end of each of these sections they even have some exercises so really handy just for your own self-testing and learning if you're trying to learn this content if you're teaching this is also really helpful having these bits and pieces here for you after the exercises we also have really nice reference lists so being able to go and read even further on each of these topics. So I'm not going to run through the code. I think there is plenty here for you to go and have a play with. If you're interested at all in finance, I think this is a really great resource for being able to pick up some bits and pieces. Certainly for me, it's been a little while since I've taught some of this content. There was a couple of new bits and pieces in here in addition to all of the classical methods. So really handy so a really great resource. I definitely encourage you to take a look. 
That's it for today. Thanks for watching. I'll be back soon with more videos on R, stats, AI, and random stuff.